Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. My name is Georgia and today I am going to be filming a video that I didn't necessarily want to film but I think that it's important that I do. I've been getting lots of questions about it. It's honestly been something that's been flooding either my DMs or I've even gotten some emails from people and it's like I just need to talk about it, put it out there so that we can, yeah clear things up and sort things out. I don't want this to be a long video or anything. I'm just going to be telling you guys the truth in regards to what actually happened to the Inspire project. So if you guys are interested or you are a part of the Inspire tribe, please keep watching. We need to have a chat. So I'm just going to put it out there straight away. I do want to talk about things properly, but I'm just going to put it straight up. No, I don't do the Inspire project anymore. And if you've been a part of the Inspire tribe, um, you'll obviously have noticed there's been no content, there's been no like programs or workshops, there's been like just no interaction. And to be completely honest, I don't even think I have the account on my phone anymore. It all kind of went downhill. Um, probably. To be honest, just the beginning of the year. If you follow me like personally, you would know that the first half of this year has been incredibly challenging and just not the greatest time in my life. I've been struggling to balance everything and just a lot's been going on, I guess. Um, and the Inspire Project was something that I was doing every single day. I would dedicate time each day to brainstorming new ideas, new workshops, um, new content, things that I wanted to do and where I kind of wanted to take the project. Should actually probably backtrack a little bit um, for the people that don't know. I began the Inspire project in 2017. I was 18 years old and I had always wanted to create just a positive um, place for people to go to online. I was seeing a lot of stuff on my news feeds that weren't very positive, um, weren't really motivating me or inspiring me in any way. So I created the Inspire Project to improve people's mental well-being as well as their physical well-being. So it was kind of just like an all-round wellness page kind of thing. We had merch where a percentage of each sale would go to a mental health charity and I believe it was towards the end of 2018, I brought on my friend um, Sarah. A lot of you guys would probably know her as says she's been on my YouTube channel before. And I brought her along to kind of help me out because I had all these big visions for the Inspire Project. And I had all of these ideas for where I wanted to take it, but I knew I needed a little bit of help to get it there. So we both worked on there um, after that and we would have like a little bit of a roster. One of us would be on each day. We would just talk to you guys, bring you along for our day. Sometimes they were more themed, like we'd have a bit of a pep talk or we'd do workouts and all of that kind of stuff. And it was lots of fun. We did some really cool things with it and we still had really, really big plans for the Inspire project. I guess at the end of the day, not everything works out the way that you plan it to. And it kind of just started with, you know, life getting so hectic. And I probably did put a lot of pressure on myself, but you know, I would miss a few days of posting or engaging with the community. And then days turned to weeks and weeks turned to months. And before I knew it, the Inspire project was kind of just stopped. So there's a few reasons that my time with the Inspire project has ended. The first reason was I would get a lot of messages from people asking me why I hadn't posted, um, when I was going to be doing this, you know, kind of expecting stuff from me, uh, which is fine because obviously um, people were enjoying it and that makes me so, so happy. But on top of my regular life, so going to uni, working part-time, going to the gym, keeping my social life up, doing all the things that I want to do and still having a bit of time for myself, it sort of just got so overwhelming that I had to kind of pull back. I would get so, so guilty when I would get those messages. Like I'd let people down and to be honest, it probably even started impacting me negatively mentally, which is like 
totally not what the whole program was about. The second reason was things weren't really working how I had planned. I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself like to be you know having a busy lifestyle anyway and then expecting myself to be on there every day and to be posting all this stuff and you know to be going crazy it was a little bit too much and I probably put too much on my plate. Third reason as I kind of just said before it was just during a very busy period in my life. I also had my podcast as well at the time and life was chucking me so many curveballs that it was hard for me to just keep on top of everything um, and I guess with life and like all your commitments you kind of make things into priorities so uni and work are super duper important to me my own health is super important to me and there were a lot of things that like were non-negotiables that like I had to be spending my time on and the fourth reason was it ended up um, unfortunately kind of taking away from my YouTube channel and just my life in general I had almost no time to myself and week to week I was just running myself so thin that like I I was just exhausted all the time and I've always said this YouTube is where I started everything this was my first passion this was where I began kind of doing all this kind of stuff and so YouTube will always have top priority over other things that I'm doing or whatever because it's it's my favorite and it's where things all kind of begun for me but I just wanted to let you guys know kind of what happened because um, it's kind of hard to reply to every message individually and um, yeah I just wanted you guys to know the truth what's been happening um, yeah kind of how it's been going for me I'm in a much much better place now and who knows I might even start it back up in the future I'm so so grateful that I did start it I've had so many great memories um, created from that project and been able to interact with you guys on like a whole different level so so incredibly grateful for those who were in the inspired tribe but as I said I can always go back to it who knows one day in the future it might start back up again but I guess I'm more using this platform to do what I was going to do on there which is hopefully inspiring people helping people and just just spreading the love, you know what I mean? Everything happens for a reason and I know that what is coming is so, so great. And I trust that what is coming is so, so great. So I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I seriously have so much love for you guys and I hope you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. But that is all I really have to say about that. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already and would like to, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can stay updated with future videos. Have the absolute best day and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye guys. Well, I wish I could be right, baby.